Put your hands behind your back. Lay down and put your hands behind your back. Now. Unfazed. No, you will. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Big Blue, and we're back over here with another video. This one is actually going to be the same video that we watched last time. It's the second part. Uh, it's going to be coming from the channel Outlaws. When police don't know what is happening, but that definitely caught me off guard. The police know exactly what's happening, but the situations are kind of crazy. So let's see what this one's about. As always, the links are going to be in the description. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Oklahoma City took an unexpected turn when a 65-year-old woman declined to sign an $80 ticket. Body camera footage captures the unfolding incident in Cashin County. The police officer issued a fine to the woman due to a broken taillight on her Chevrolet Silverado truck, but she declined to sign the ticket, arguing that it was a minor issue she could repair on her own. Ammo, huh? Yeah, ammo, huh? Gotcha. Related to Hank? I'm his mother. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Get your exactly. insurance. That's crazy that you know somebody that you're at a traffic stop with somebody's mother that you know. I bet that's awkward. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, busted tail light seems to be a pattern with the Hamels. Well, y'all had a headlight out on one of your cop cars the other night. We did? You know mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just don't tell you. We should have. Yeah, I guess I should. All right, sit tight for me. I haven't decided yet. Stay in the bill. All right, Miss Hamill. Since you informed me that you've had that for six months. Oh, yeah. And we're just looking for a bed because we can't find a short bed. I mean, my brother's you, looking for it. We're can you at least get the light? I don't know if I can get the light. Uh, they've got lights on them, don't they? They do have lights in them, and they do work. Well, you're, it's broken. Yeah, I know it's so broken. So if you hit your brake lights, that white bulb's going to blind somebody at night. Oh, okay. Well, can that's, I put red that's, tape on it? Thing is that yeah, but I don't think... I don't think red tape's gonna help you there. You don't have enough plastic to tape over. Well, you know, I kind of hate to buy one if I'm gonna get the whole bed and it's gonna have everything on it. I got you. You know, I just don't want to spend the money. I understand. And, you know, I don't drive it to Texas. I don't drive it in the city. I go to Guthrie, Kingfisher. I'm going right now to check on cattle. Okay. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September what? 16th to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign over the excess. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. No, I, I haven't. The incident took place on July 17th, 2019, involving a 65-year-old woman named Deborah Hamill. This video from a police body camera has gone viral depicting Deborah Hamill's refusal to cooperate with the police when they presented her with a ticket. In the footage, she can be heard mentioning that she'd been driving her damaged vehicle for approximately six months. Right. I don't think I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable, Hamill tells the officer while refusing to this sign the crazy. ticket. She proceeded to tell the officer she would be fair with him and that he was full of. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. No, I, I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead, to do. Step out. Why? Fine? Last time I checked, that was a fine. Unless I'm wrong. I would have thought somebody would know that, but I mean, I guess not all people know that. Because you're under arrest. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order. Step oh, out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did you really think it was unlocked? You be fair with me, and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm How about you be fair with him? You're just gonna make this worse. Like one of these. Not. I'm placing you under arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. 
305, 303. Just do not, do not oh, take shut off. Shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. You want Step me out. Oh, she only gave a the one police officer remained unconvinced and promptly instructed the woman to exit the car as she was being placed under arrest. As evidenced by the content captured on the body cam footage, it's evident that she displayed a clear unwillingness to adhere to the directives of law enforcement, and rather than cooperating, opted to make the deliberate choice to drive away. It was a poor choice, as the police officer initiated a pursuit of the Silverado and subsequently pulled her over once more. This time, his approach was far from polite. He aimed his gun at her and loudly ordered, Get out of the car! Give me that and I'll sign it! Step out! No! no we're beyond that! You want me Step to out! Stop. 305, dispatch. Got one taken off. Deputy's occupant is going to be one. We're going to be pulling into the DEP oil facility. Get out of the car! Gun. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! You better leave me! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! In the video, it's evident that the woman was frightened and likely realized that her actions had gone too far. In response, she opened the door, and a police officer swiftly because apprehended her, battery. placing her on the ground to apply handcuffs. The scene is quite unsettling to witness, particularly when the officer deployed a taser as the woman resisted being handcuffed. Now! Yeah. Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Lay down and put your hands behind your back! Now! No, you will not! You're gonna get it again! During the altercation, Hamill attempted to kick the arresting officer while shouting, You better leave me alone! Or In the end, get it. the officer successfully managed to apprehend Hamill. Following the calming of the situation, she openly admitted to the officer that her attempt to kick him was rooted in her statement, I'm a country girl. It's not a rationale frequently encountered in interactions with law enforcement. Do you realize you just got yourself in a whole lot more trouble? What? For running? Oh, I didn't run. I told you you weren't going to arrest me. I pulled him is here. Is that text us delayed or does that mean that's delayed? That's the text us delayed. Go ahead and go ahead and roll to your, roll to your back. Alright, so now you're back. You hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. Alright, I got EMS on the way to St. Dyke. You got a what on the way? Yeah, we got an ambulance on the way to check you out. Ambulance? I, I don't need an ambulance. Okay. Well, you got... I think they're in Oklahoma, so that ambulance is probably going to get there tomorrow. <laughs> Taste, so they got to check you out. I know, let me stop. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Like, oh, don't do the arms that way. Well, how do you want me to hold you up? I don't know. Why can don't you, you get me in front? How about you just lean up against my leg, all right? Lean up against your leg? Yeah. Wait for them to get here. And wait for them to get here. Can you pick me up? Yeah, if you don't mind, help me get her up. There we go. Come on over here. Is that EMS? That was fairly quick. Yeah, 10 4, she's in custody. Undoubtedly, the entire episode was unjustifiably intense for an $80 fine. And nevertheless, when emotions, including those of the police officer, spiral out of control, the outcomes can be highly uncertain. Yes, wrecking. EMS has been advised. Alright, walk to my car, ma'am. 
can I shut my pickup off? I'll, I'll, and... I'll turn it off for you. Come on. That's that's the taser core. They're gonna get that out of you. All right. Get it out of me. Yeah, there's two prongs in you. Two prongs in me. Oh, I'm cute. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll turn the air on. Well. Cool down. Can you pull your seat up or something? Or that's that's as much as we got. According to Kingfisher County court documents, Hamill was charged with assault and battery on a police officer, resisting an officer, obstructing an officer, eluding an officer, and operating a vehicle with defective equipment. Cashin police, in a press release accompanied by body camera footage, confirmed the arrest of a woman on charges of assault and battery on a police officer, as well as felony resisting arrest misdemeanor. Officials also said, the person arrested as shown on the video is currently facing criminal charges in the District Court of Kingfisher County. It's the policy of the Cashin Police Department that no statements will be issued by the police department on criminal cases pending in the court system. One year following her arrest, it appears that the case has resolved. As per online court records, Hamill has admitted guilt to charges of resisting an officer obstruction, eluding, and operating a vehicle with I'm defective equipment, all of which are classified as misdemeanors. In exchange, the state has decided to drop the assault and battery charge. Hamill has been handed a four-year deferred sentence and is required to pay a $50 fine for each count. We appreciate your feedback on the video. Please. Interesting. That was... Yeah, that wasn't what I was expecting. Um, see, old people, I just need to calm, calm down, chill out, please. It's not that deep. Everything that's going on is not that deep. You're too old for this stuff. I guess now you can say that you went to jail, you got tased, you got put in handcuffs, and you ran from the cops. I guess you can say that, you know, tell that to the grandkids. But, I mean, was that really necessary? I don't know. I don't know. You know, old people do what they want to do. Anyways, interesting video, y'all. If y'all got, if y'all like the video, go ahead and like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Take it easy, peace.